Hey, this is to the Norwegian lifting goddess, which is, I guess, somewhat appropriate since I just finished working out, but I saw your video about getting used to talking to a camera, and my friendly advice is that you should not think of it as talking to a camera. You should think of it as precisely what it's going to wind up being. You talking to other people. You having an audience. And also, you saying something that I would think you yourself would want to see yourself saying. Does that make sense? This is going to, I mean, look, the first order of business is for you to love yourself. If you can't see yourself saying something on camera, if you can't watch yourself, then you don't love who you are. You have to keep vlogging in order to discover the comfort of seeing yourself on camera, regardless of what you look like. Dressed up, dressed down, cleaned up, not cleaned up, and so on. I mean, there are, of course, personal uh, boundaries that we all have as to how far we will go with what we look like, obviously, but I'm saying that go as far as you can possibly take yourself, and even more important than that, get used to seeing yourself saying something, but don't think of it as talking to a camera. When I make a video, I always view the camera eye as, as another eye, as a third eye. I have two. Well, this is the other one. And the third eye belongs to an audience of people that could be as close as, well, the next block over to as far away as Belgium, Bangladesh, Hawaii, Kathmandu, you name it. But the point is, don't be afraid to grip, I could say grip it and rip it. Pick up your camera, make your vlog, make your statement. Say what you want to say. But don't think of it as talking to the camera because then you won't realize you really have an audience. You always have an audience. Go vlog.